Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another video on maximum demand and diversity. So in the first video I've explained what maximum demand and diversity actually is and in this video we're going to calculate uh, another video, uh, another question um, that's got a little bit more complicated um, than just a basic cooker circuit to calculate. So on your screens you'll see the question, it says calculate the demand current for a small guest house uh, has 10 bedrooms, 3 bathrooms, a lounge, dining room, kitchen and utility room with the following loads connected to a 230 volt single phase supply and it says 3 filament lighting circuits with 2860 watts total, 3 times 32 amp ring final circuits, instantaneous water heater uh, 1 times 9 kilowatt shower, uh, 1 times 3 kilowatt thermostatically controlled immersion heater, and 2 times 6.5 kilowatt cookers. So, we need to first of all go to our Appendix A, our maximum demand of diversity page in the on-site guide to page 135, Appendix A. Um, turn the page and now look at Table A2. Uh, table A2 it starts on page 137 and if you turn the page you'll see it continues on to 138. So, Let's have a little look at this. If we look at the headings across the top, let's look at column four. The type of premises, it says small guest houses, boarding houses, guest houses, uh, small hotels, boarding houses, guest houses, etc. And our question was a small guest house. So the demand that we will be using, or maximum demand of diversity that we'll be using, uh, will be in that final column because we're in a, a small guest house. So any diversity that we can apply we've got to look in that last column. So let's make a start. Um, we had the lighting circuit and that was, it gave us our total, didn't it? So it was 2860. Two, that was our total power. And let's work out the current. So again, we're going to be using PIV, transpose it to I equals P divide V. So power divide volts. So I've got 2860 divide 230 equals 12.43 amps. Now let's look at the table to see if we can apply any diversity. So go to that final column and the top one, number one, is lighting. So if we read it says 70% of total current demand. Okay, so 70%, or 75, sorry, 75% of 12.43 equals 9.33 amps. So put a little underline under that. And the next one was three final ring circuits, wasn't it? Three final ring circuits, uh, 32 amp each. So let's have a look. Um, so that is on the next, but that's on page 138. Row 9, the standard arrangement of final circuits in accordance with Appendix H. Um, if you are unsure about what that is, Appendix H, let's have a quick look. So these are standard circuits. That will be on page 210. Page 210, 
table H2.1. They are our standard circuits, A1, A2 and A3 circuit. So if our circuits comply with those, if it's A1, A2 or A3, then that's what we would use, that column, uh, that row 9. So back to the table. So if you notice, the fourth row for small guest houses is left blank. Now, I don't really know why they do this. What that means is the diversity that we can apply from column three for small shops is also the same as column four. So the demand that we can apply, it says 100% of current demand for largest circuit plus 50% of current demand of every other circuit. So, we've got 100% of the first one, that's 32, and then plus 50% of current demand of every other circuit. So we have another uh, 2, 32 amps, so half of 32, 16, plus another half of 32, which is 16. Um, add them up and we get 64. 64 amps, so that is, underline that, so that's the diversity that we can apply for the final ring circuits. Now on to the instantaneous water heater. So let's have a that's on page 137, and that is row 5, water heaters, instantaneous type. Now we only have one at 9 kilowatts, and it says in the column 4, 100% full load of largest appliance. Well, we've only got one appliance, so we can't apply any diversity there. So for our instantaneous water heater, this shower circuit, that is 9 kilowatts. So 9,000 divide 230 to work out our power. And that equals 39.13 amps. Underline that. So we haven't got any diversity that we can apply to this shower. And the next one was uh, a 1 times 3 kilowatt thermostatically controlled immersion heater. Okay, so that is row number 6, water heaters thermostatically controlled. And if we go along to column 4, small guest houses, it says no diversity allowable. Okay. So it's going to be exactly the same as the shower circuit. So that was 3 kilowatts, so 3,000 divide 230. And that is 13.04 amps. Underline that, so we've got no diversity we can apply to that circuit. And the last one was 2 times 6.5 kilowatt cookers. Okay, so back to the table, A2 on page 137. And we have column, or sorry, row 3 cooking appliances. So over in column 4, it says 100% full load of largest appliance plus 80% full load of second largest appliance. Right, so let's calculate those. So we've got two there, haven't we? So our first one was uh, 6,500 divide 230 equals 28.26 amps. So that's full load. Um, and we were allowed to use. Uh, what did it say? It was 80% of the second largest. So if we work out 80% 80 80 of 
0.26 equals 22.61 amps. So now that is all of our circuit, that's all of our circuits done. So now what we need to do to work out our total current demand is we add up all of these amp ratings that uh, I've underlined, or we've underlined. So 9.33 plus 64 plus 39.13 plus 1 plus 13.04 plus 28.26 plus 22.61 equals one seven six point three seven amps uh, I think that is correct and yes just check that that is correct so our total demand the answer for this question is 176.37 amps. So I hope this video has shown you how we use and how we apply the diversity from table A2 in appendix A of your on-site guide. Thank you for watching the video. Remember we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical installation guys, remember, be safe, most importantly, Listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.